Hi students, welcome to DS Economics channel. Today we are going to discuss 2022 July Kerala set economics previous year question. This is your part 1. Uh, in this video we are going to discuss from question number 1 to 40. Uh, then in the second part uh, from 41 to 80 then in the last third part uh, uh, we will be discuss uh, uh, rest of the question uh, till uh, 120. So this is your first part. Uh, so those who come for the first time please subscribe to this channel and those who don't watch the previous videos uh, I already create a playlist please go through the playlist all the previous questions uh, discussed there i have given the link in the description videos description you got from uh, the video description also you can watch the uh, channel playlist and uh, got your uh, kella set previous year uh, question playlist so let's start the video so this is the first question of today's session question one is if two goods are complements the rise in price of one commodity will lead to if two goods are complement goods complementary goods means uh, it can take example of uh, uh, car and petrol uh, so these are complementary goods so when uh, if two goods are complements the rise in price of one commodity if uh, price of petrol price of petrol rises then demand for car decrease because uh, these are complementary goods so rise in price uh, if the rise in price of one commodity uh, then the rise in price of other commodity no false uh, uh, we cannot say then an upward shift in the demand for other commodity no downward sloping then a downward shift in the demand for other commodity yes this is the uh, right option then no shift in the demand curve now so if the rise in price of one commodity say uh, price of petrol rises then other commodities demand uh, other commodity demand falls like uh, car or any type of vehicle bike uh, demand of bike or car uh, falls because price of petrol rises so both are complementary to each other so uh, if one price rise others demand fall so a downward shift in the demand for other commodity other commodities demand uh, no, will uh, downward shift or will fall so option c is the uh, right option then second question matching question list one and list two first one is calder hicks test impossibility theorem quasi rent and social welfare function the so first one is uh, calder hicks test calder hicks test given by t skitoski then second one impossibility theorem uh, kenneth j arrow impulse possibility arrow theory then quasi rent quasi rent given by alfred marshall quasi rent then social welfare function social welfare function given by boxon so first one is one a1 b4 c2 and uh, d3 so option b is the right option calder hicks test uh, skitoski impossibility theorem kenneth j arrow quasi rent alfred marshall social welfare function given by boxon then next question question number three this is an assertion and reason type question first one assertion is utility differs differs from person to person place to place and time to time this is correct because utility for one person may be a uh, very uh, to other person so utility varying from person to person place to place different place uh, utilities for the same good uh, uh is uh, different uh, in different place and from time to time so in pers uh, from person to person place to place time to time utility differ because uh, in time to time like uh, in rainy season the demand for umbrella or rainy coat increases uh, in winter season uh, demand for blanket increases so time to time utility differ and uh, place to place from different places uh, like uh, cold uh, region or hot region or person to person uh, utility differ then 
this is correct then reason is utility is primarily a subjective concept that is determined by the degree of consumers desire or demand for a certain commodity at any given time this is also right because utility is a subjective concept so it determined by the degree of consumers desire or demand so in what time or in what place or um, what type of person demand so it depends on the consumers desire or demand for a certain commodity at uh, at a given time or any given time the demand for the uh, commodity so here utility differ from different uh, person person time to time place to place and utility is primary subjective concept this is also right so this is the correct reason for the assertion and uh, uh, we calculate the utility at a particular given time so reason is also correct so here option uh, both a and r are correct and r is, r is the correct explanation of a c is right then question number four if we plot capital on the vertical axis and labor on the horizontal axis so here question given is we plot capital uh, in the vertical axis capital and labor in the horizontal axis then uh, the slope of a straight line iso cost drawn on the same graph so straight line iso cost line straight line iso cost line uh, in the same graph uh, the slope of the straight line curve iso cost drawn on the same graph is if we plot capital on the vertical axis and labor on the horizontal axis then the slope of the straight line iso quant are drawn in the same graph is pl by pk pk by pl or minus pl by pk or minus pk by pl uh, so here straight line iso cost uh, slope of the iso cost is option number c minus pl by pk if we derive the value uh, we will get minus pl by pk slope of the iso cost line so here option c is the right option for question number four then question number five if in in the constant elasticity of substitution ces in the constant elasticity of substitution production function the value of the substitution parameter p is minus 1 so value of the substitution parameter p is equal to minus 1 then the elasticity of substitution will be zero infinite utility indeterminate so here we have to find out the value of elasticity of substitution so elasticity of substitution value is elasticity of substitution es is equal to 1 by 1 plus p so the formula is to find out the elasticity of substitution we have to divide 1 by 1 plus p formula is 1 by 1 plus p so here we uh, just put the value of p so 1 by 1 plus p value is minus 1 1 plus minus 1 so its value is 1 plus minus is equal to minus so 1 minus 1 so 1 by 0 1 by 0 so something by 0 its uh, result is indeterminate or we can say infinite zero by something is equal to zero but something by zero if we divide by zero uh, we cannot get the value so its value is infinite or indeterminate so infinite value we cannot say uh, the particular amount of value so here infinite option number b infinite is the right option b then question number six the prisoner's dilemma is not a constant sum game because the prisoner's dilemma is not a constant sum game because some outcomes are better than other for both player or the prisoner's sen sentences are necessarily non-zero or the game doesn't have a Nash equilibrium or the sum of the prisoner's sentence is uh, non-zero so here question as per prisoner's dilemma is not a constant sum game we know that prisoner's dilemma is not a constant sum game because some outcomes are better than others for both player for both both player uh, some outcomes are better than others outcomes so here uh, in a constant sum game both are equally benefited but here in prisoner's dilemma some are better and some are worse so 
in uh, constant sum game the sum of the payoffs for all players remain constant regardless of the strategy they choose so in constant uh, sum game both are equally distributed the benefit are equally distributed among them so the in pieces name we cannot find uh, both are benefited or uh, both outcomes are equal so here uh, a is the right option in prisoner's dilemma the total payoff or uh, total uh, prisoner sentence uh, in this case can be very depending on the choices made by the player some outcomes result in both prisoners getting shorter sentences while others result in both getting longer sentences or a higher benefit so this viability means that the sum of the payoff is not constant it is distinguishing it from a constant sum game so here a is the right option because in prisoners in a way some outcomes are better than others for both player and then question number seven negative income effect is stronger than substitution effect in case of desk goods negative income effect is stronger than substitution effect in case of uh, inferior given bevelin or complementary goods so here in given goods negative income effect is stronger than substitution effect here when income rises income rises demand for demand for superior goods rises demand for superior goods rises and demand for inferior goods falls so here negative effect uh, is stronger than substitution effect because when income rises people demand less uh, goods uh, in comparison to the superior goods the so people uh, demand less uh, inferior good because in given good we saw there is a positive relation between income and demand when income is increases uh, demand for uh, superior good increases and demand for inferior good decreases so here uh, in given good negative effect is stronger than substitution effect then question number 8 a farm will be of optimum size when a farm will be in optimum size when marginal cost is at minimum average cost is minimum marginal cost is equal to average cost or the farm maximizes its output uh, a farm will be optimum size when ac average cost is at minimum when average cost is minimum the farm we can say it is in optimum size so when average cost is at minimum then match list 1 and list 2 list 1 given as multiplier liquidity trap neutrality of money quantity theory of money so list 2 don patinkin irving fisher jm kens r f kahan multiplier concept multiplier given by r f khan multiplier then liquidity trap liquidity trap given by liquidity trap concept given by jm kens then neutrality of money neutrality of money given by don patinkin then quantity theory of money fisher fisher's quantity theory of money irving fisher so here a for b3 a for b3 c1 and d2 option c is right then question number 10 which among the following is not an assumption of parity optimality so which is not the assumption of parity optimality first one is every consumer wishes to maximize his level of satisfaction this is right every consumer wishes to maximize his level of satisfaction according to parity optimality then all factors of production are used in the production of every commodity all factors of production are used in the production of every commodity so in every commodity all factors of production are used this is also right then conditions of perfect competition exist making all the factors of production perfectly mobile so here in parity optimality uh, conditions of perfect competition market exist and uh, it making all the factors of production perfectly mobile this is also right according to the parity optimality assumption then option number d the concept of utility is cardinal 
एंड कार्डिनाल यूटिलिटी फंक्शन ऑफ एवरी कंज्यूमर इज गिवन नॉट दिस इज इनकरेक्ट कार्डिनाल यूटिलिटी ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ एवरी कंज्यूमर इज नॉट गिवन सो दिस एजेंसन इज इनकरेक्ट एकॉर्डिंग टू पैरिटी ऑप्टिमलिटी एजेंसन सो ऑप्शन ए बी सी आर करेक्ट एंड डी इज इनकरेक्ट सो डी इज द रईट अपसन हियर देन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवेन हुई अफ द फलोईंग आर द कंपोनेट्स ऑफ करेंट अकाउंट इन द बालान्स अफ पेमेंट सो वी हेव टू फाइंड आउट द कंपोनेट्स अफ करेंट अकाउंट इन द बालान्स अफ पेमेंट फास्ट वन इज एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट अफ गुड्स दिस इज इनक्लूड इन करेंट अकाउंट देन सेकेंड वन इज यूनिलेटरल ट्रांसफर यूनिलेटरल ट्रांसफर वी कैन इनक्लूड इन करेंट अकाउंट देन फरेन इनभेस्टमेंट नो एनी टाइप ऑफ इनभेस्टमेंट इट इनक्लूड्स इन कैपिटल अकाउंट सो दिस इज कैपिटल अकाउंट देन एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट ऑफ सर्विसेस करेंट अकाउंट सो एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट ऑफ गुड्स एंड एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ इम्पोर्ट ऑफ सर्विसेस इनक्लूड इन करेंट अकाउंट देन यूनिटेटरल ट्रांसफर इट अल्सो इनक्लूड इन करेंट अकाउंट बट फरेन इनभेस्टमेंट इनक्लूड इन कैपिटल अकाउंट सो हियर अपसन वन टू एंड फोर आर करेक्ट सो वन टू फोर गिवेन इन द अपसन ए देन क्वेश्चन नंबर टुएल्व बैंड वागन इफेक्ट इज फाउंड इन डेस इनकम हाइपोथेसिस बैंड वागन इफेक्ट और वी कैन से डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन इफेक्ट फाउंड इन एब्सल्यूट रिलेटिव परमानेंट और लाइफ सैकल सो एब्सल्यूट इनकम एकॉर्डिंग टू कैंस दिस इज नॉट अंडर बैंड वागन इफेक्ट रिलेटिव इनकम सो रिलेटिव इनकम इज द रईट अपसन बिकज इन द रिलेटिव इनकम वी कैन फाउंड बैंड वागन इफेक्ट और डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन इफेक्ट सो ऑप्शन बी इज राइट देन स्टेटमेंट वन टू थ्री ए राइज इन जेनरल लेवल ऑफ प्राइसेस इज कॉज बाय सो प्राइस लेवल राइजेस बिकॉज स्टेटमेंट वन स्टेटमेंट वन इज एन इंक्रीज इन द मनी सप्लाई व्हेन इट सेज दैट व्हेन मनी सप्लाई इंक्रीजेस प्राइस लेवल इन द इकोनॉमी राइजेस दिस इज करेक्ट then statement number 2 a decrease in the aggregate level of output when output or uh, we can say production decreases then uh, uh, output decreases but de demand remain constant or demand may rise so here demand rise but output uh, decreases or we can say supply decreases then price automatically rise when demand rises and supply decreases then price rise so here statement 2 is also correct then statement 3 an increase in the effective demand yes and when an increase in the effective demand increases then uh, aggregate supply then we can find uh, there is there will be an increase in the price level so statement 1 2 3 both are uh, all are correct according to the uh, rise in the general price level so option 1 2 3 all are correct then of question number 14 according to keynes which of the following are the determinants of investment so according to keynes we have to find out the determinants of investment first one is the cost of capital asset we can also include the capital asset uh, uh, it is also it is a determinant of investment then expected rate of uh, return of capital it is also a determinant of investment then the market rate of interest it is also include in the determinant of investment so all 1 2 3 are include in the determinants of investment so option d is right then question number 15 in the fisher's extended equation exchange m1 v1 represent we know that uh, mv is equal to pt general equation but this is the extended equation of fisher so here m1 v1 represent so mv is equal to pt generally mv represent primary money uh, but when m1 v1 extended version of equation of exchange it represent credit money general first uh, in fisher extended equation uh, m1 v1 generally m and v m represent amount of primary money such as currency and reserve v represent velocity of primary money but m1 represent the amount of credit money such as bank credit and v1 represent velocity of credit money so here uh, 
ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर एम वन एंड भी वन एंड फॉर एम भी प्राइम एम भी इज कॉल्ड एज प्राइमरी मनी एंड एम वन भी वन वी कैन टेक इट एज क्रेडिट मनी देन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन एन इनफ्लेशनरी गैप ऑकर्स व्वेन एन इनफ्लेशनरी गैप ऑकर्स व्वेन व्वेन ए डी एग्रीगेट डिमांड कर सिफ्ट राइट वार्ड एग्रीगेट डिमांड कर सिफ्ट लेफ्ट वार्ड जी डी पी इक्वाल्स फुल एम्प्लयमेंट जी डीपी और जी डी पी इज एभ फुल एम्प्लयमेंट जी डीपी येस दिस इज करेक्ट अपसन एंड इनफ्लेशनरी गैप अकर्स व्वेन जी डी पी इज एभ द फुल एम्प्लयमेंट फुल एम्प्लयमेंट जी डी पी हाउ एंड इनफ्लेशनरी गैप अकर्स व्वेन द एक्चुअल जी डी पी एक्सीड्स द फुल एम्प्लयमेंट जी डी पी इट मीन्स दैट द इकोनोमी इज प्रड्यूसी बियंडस इट सस्टेनेबल कैपासीटी इकोनोमी इज प्रड्यूसी बियंडस इट सस्टेनेबल कैपासीटी तो दिस टिपिकली लीड्स टू अपवर्ड प्रेसर ऑन द प्राइसेस और वी कैन से इनफ्लेशन सो इट क्रिएट्स एन अपवर्ड प्रेसर ऑन द इनफ्लेशन सो एन इनफ्लेशनर गैप अकर्स व्वेन जी डी पी इज एभ फुल एम्प्लयमेंट जी डी पी देन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेन्टीन एज पर द इन्स्योरेन्स एमेंडमेंट बिल टू थाउजेंड What is the new FDI limit in the insurance sector? Twenty-five uh, percent, fifty to seventy-four, hundred percent. In the uh, new FDI limit in the insurance sector, according to the 2021, it increased to seventy-four percent. So your option C is the right option. Seven. Then question number eighteen. Which among the following is the correct? Ascending order of the basis of the sex ratio in India during 2021. During 2021, uh, we have to find out the ascending order of uh, sex ratio. We know that Kerala sex ratio highest. So according to ascending order, we have to uh, arrange the states uh, from lowest to highest. So Kerala, Kerala highest. So option one or C may be the right option. So here. आंध्र प्रदेश के छत्तीसगढ़ हाँ ये छत्तीसगढ़ इज द लोएस्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द सेक्स रेशियो छत्तीसगढ़ लोएस्ट देन आंध्र प्रदेश देन तमिलनाडु देन केरला सो हियर सी इज द राइट ऑप्शन छत्तीसगढ़ सेक्स रेशियो इज लोएस्ट देन आंध्र प्रदेश देन तमिलनाडु देन केरला केरला सेक्स रेशियो वाज हाइस्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू टू थाउजेंड इट वाज हंड्रेड वन Then uh, in 2021 it may increase. So Kerala's uh, sex ratio in 2021 highest, and Chhattisgarh uh, sex ratio is lowest. So option C is the right option. Then uh, question number nine: The Yojana which has been restructured as National Rural Livelihood Mission. So which uh, policy or Yojana uh, restructured or renamed as नेशनल रूरल लाइवलीहुड मिशन स्वर्ण जयंती सहरी रोजगार योजना रूरल एम्प्लयमेंट जेनेसन प्रोग्राम एम जी नरेगा और स्वर्ण जयंती ग्राम स्वरोजगार योजना सो द स्वर्ण जयंती ग्राम स्वरोजगार योजना वाज लंच इन नाइन्टीन नाइंटी नाइन सो दिस प्रोग्राम रिस्ट्रक्चर एज नेशनाल रूरल लाइवलीहुड मिशन इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवेन So it aim to provide sustainable income to rural poor households through the formation of self help self help groups (SSG) and by providing them uh, training, credit, and other support. So this is later restructured as National Rural Livelihood Mission in 2011. So first. Its name was Swarno Jayanti Gram Swarajgari Jana in 1999. Then its uh, it rename as Uh, National Rural Livelihood Mission in 2011. Then list one and list two. First one: critical minimum effort thesis, technological dualism, physical quality of life index, and permissive and compulsive sequences. The first one is critical minimum minimum effort the thesis given by Liebestein. Then technological dualism, Benjamin Higgins. Then physical quality of life index given by Morris D. Morris, PQLI method. Morris D. Morris. Then permissive and compulsive sequences given by A. O. Hirschman. Unbalanced growth theory. Permissive and compulsive sequences. Hirschman. 
फार्स्ट वन क्रिटिकल मिनिमम एफर्ट लिवस्टाइन टेक्नोलॉजिकल डुअलिजम बेंजामिन हिगिन्स फिजिकल क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ इंडेक्स मॉरिस टी मॉरिस एंड परमिसिव एंड कंपलसिव सीक्वेंस ए ओ हिट्स मैन सो ट्वेंटी राइट ऑप्शन इज ए वन बी थ्री सी फोर डी टू डी इज द राइट ऑप्शन देन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन हुईच एमंग द फॉलोइंग आर रियल वेरिएबल्स प्राइस लेवल रेट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन एम्प्लॉयमेंट सो हियर रियल वेरिएबल प्राइस लेवल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दिज आर नॉट रियल वेरिएबल ओनली एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज द रियल वेरिएबल एम्प्लॉयमेंट ओनली थ्री हाउ रियल वेरिएबल्स आर दोज दैट आर मेजर्ड इन फिजिकल यूनिट्स सच एज क्वांटिटीज ऑफ गुड्स और लेबर एंड आर नॉट इन्फ्लुएंस बाय चेंजेस इन द प्राइस लेवल सो वी कैन क्वांटिफाई इन फिजिकल यूनिट्स सो हियर एम्प्लॉयमेंट वी कैन क्वांटिफाई और फिजिकल यूनिट सच एज क्वांटिटीज ऑफ गुड्स और लेबर हाउ मेनी पर्सनस आर एम्प्लॉयड बट प्राइस लेवल एंड रेट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन आर नॉट रियल वेरिएबल्स सो प्राइस लेवल दिस इज ए नॉमिनल वेरिएबल नॉट ए रियल वेरिएबल एंड रेट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन रेट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन इट इज ए मेजर ऑफ हाउ फास्ट द प्राइस लेवल इज राइजिंग सो इट इज ऑल्सो ए नॉमिनल वेरिएबल प्राइस लेवल नॉमिनल वेरिएबल रेट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन नॉमिनल वेरिएबल बट एम्प्लॉयमेंट दिस इज ए रियल वेरिएबल बिकॉज इट रेफर्स टू द एक्चुअल नंबर ऑफ पीपुल एम्प्लॉयड हुईच इज ए फिजिकल मेजर सो ओनली ऑप्शन सी इज राइट हियर देन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ आवर एक्टिविटीज ऑन द एनवायरमेंट मेजर्ड एज द यूनिट्स ऑफ टॉन्स और वी कैन से के जी ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज ऑफ एस प्रोड्यूस ओवर ए गिवेन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इट इज नॉन एज कार्बन कार्बन काउंट कार्बन क्रेडिट कार्बन इमिशन और कार्बन फुटप्रिंट सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज कार्बन फ्रूट फुटप्रिंट means uh, in our uh, whole lifetime how how much amount of carbon dioxide we are produce so no uh, it measures in the units of tons or kg of carbon dioxide so it is known as carbon footprint then next question 23 which of the following assumptions are correct regarding phi and rennis model so according to phi and rennis model which are which assumptions are correct first one is there is uh, a dual economy consisting a stagnant agricultural sector and a active industrial sector yes this is correct a stagnant agricultural sector and a active industrial sector dual economy exist according to phi and rennis then output of the agricultural sector is a function of land and labor and from only land and labor uh, we can get the output of agricultural sector this is correct then the output of industrial sector is a function of capital and labor and all so uh, output of industrial sector we can get from capital and labor this is also correct so in the phi and rennis model which is used to analyze the process of economic development in dual economies uh, uh, first option is there is a dual economy consist of stagnant agricultural sector and active, active industrial sector this reflect the models focus on the contrast between the traditional agricultural sector and the more dynamic industrial sector this is right then second option is the output of the agriculture sector is the function of land and labor alone so this assumption highlight the traditional nature of the agriculture in model then the output of the industrial sector is a function of capital and labor alone this reflect the industrial sectors dependence on capital and labor of production so here all the options are right so 1 2 3 given all these assumptions are correct regarding the phi rennis model so answer is option number d then list 1 and list 2 matching question gunnar midral ruchi sharma jagdish bhagwati joseph sumpeter so uh, 24 number question first one gunnar midral given the concept of asian drama gunnar midral asian drama then ruchi sharma ruchi sharma Uh, given the concept of rise and fall of nation ruchi sharma then jagdish bhagwati jagdish bhagwati given the concept of defense of globalization then joseph sumpeter sumpeterian theory capitalism socialism and democracy capitalism socialism and democracy 
सो हियर ट्वेंटी फोर ए फॉर बी वन सी टू डी थ्री सो बी इज द राइट ऑप्शन गुरुनर मिडल एशियन एशियन ड्रामा देन रुचि शर्मा राइज एंड फॉलो अप नेशन जगदीश भगवती इन डिफेन्स ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन देन जोसेफ सुम्पिटर कैपिटल कैपिटलिज्म सोशियालीजम एंड डेमोक्रेसी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव इंडिया पोजिशन इन ग्लोबल एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन इंडेक्स ग्लोबल एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन इंडेक्स ई एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन इंडेक्स 2021 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन पब्लीस बै स्वीडेन इज इन हाउ मेनी नंबर इन इन हुईज पोजिशन इंडिया पोजिशन इन ग्लोबल एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन इंडेक्स इट इज सेवेन्टी सिक्स एट्टी सेवेन नाइंटी वन और नाइंटी फाइव इट इज एट्टी सेवेन्थ रैंक इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एट्टी सेवेन्थ एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन इंडेक्स देन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवेन ट्वेंटी सिक्स डेस इज नॉट यूज इन मेजरमेंट ऑफ प्राइसेस इन इंडिया डेस इज नॉट यूज इन द मेजरमेंट ऑफ प्राइसेस इन इंडिया होलसेल प्राइस इंडेक्स वी मेजर डब्ल्यू पी आई जी डी पी डिफ्लेटर कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स सी पी आई डब्ल्यू पी आई जी डी पी डिफ्लेटर ऑल आर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ प्राइस इंडिसेस बट परचेजिंग पावर पेरिटी इंडेक्स इज नॉट इनक्लूड इन द मेजरमेंट ऑफ प्राइस इन इंडिया सो हियर ऑप्शन डी इज राइट सो द परचेजिंग पावर पेरिटी इंडेक्स इज नॉट यूज इन द मेजरमेंट ऑफ प्राइसेस विद इन इंडिया इंस्टेड इट इज यूज टू कंपेयर द रिलेटिव वैल्यू ऑफ द करेंसीज एंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग बिटवीन कंट्रीज सो परचेजिंग पावर ऑफ पेरिटी इट मेजर्स इट कंपेयर्स द रिलेटिव वैल्यू ऑफ करेंसी एंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग बिटवीन कंट्रीज सो इन इंडिया होलसेल प्राइस इंडेक्स इट मेजर्स द प्राइस चेंजेस एट होलसेल लेवल जी डी पी डिफ्लेटर मेजर्स द चेंजेस इन द प्राइस लेवल ऑफ ऑल डोमेस्टिक प्रड्यूस गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स मेजर्स द प्राइस चेंजेस फ्रॉम द प्रस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द कंज्यूमर सो हियर ऑप्शन डी इज इनकरेक्ट सो परचेजिंग पावर Parity index. The GDP deflator is a measure of the level of prices of all new domestically produced final goods and services in an economy. The formula for GDP deflator is equal to nominal GDP by real GDP into hundred. So it is option D is incorrect. Uh, right. Then question number twenty-seven. Backward and forward linkages are re relevant for days growth. स्ट्राटेजी बैकवर्ड फॉर फरवर्ड लिंकेजेस बालांस ग्रोथ अनबालांस ट्रिकल डाउन इक्विब्रम इट इज रेलिभेन्ट इन अनबालांस ग्रोथ सो इन अनबालांस मोर देर आर बैकवर्ड इफेक्ट और फरवर्ड लिंकेजेस बैकवर्ड लिंकेज और फरवर्ड लिंकेज इन अनबालांस ग्रोथ गिवेन बाई हिट्स मैन देन ट्वेंटी एट नंबर क्वेश्चन हुईच अफ द फलोइंग मडल्स अफ बिजनेस सैकिल जेनेट्स कन्स्टेन्ट सैकिल इन हुईज मडेल इट जेनेट कन्स्टेन्ट सैकेल कैलडर हिग्स कैन सामुएलसन सो एकर्डिंग टू हिग्स बिजनेस सैकेल थिरी इट जेनेट कन्स्टेन्ट सैकेल हाउ द मडेल अफ बिजनेस सैकेल दैट जेनेट कन्स्टेन्ट सैकेल इज द हिग्स मडेल द हिग्स मडेल अल्सो नन एज हिग्स हैंडस एंड आई एस एन एम मडेल प्रड्यूसे कन्स्टेन्ट सैकेल इन हुईज फ्लक्चुएसन्स इन इकोनोमिक एक्टिविटी आर इनफ्लुएंसड बै कन्स्टेन्ट्स इन द इकोनोमी सच एज लिमिट्स ऑन द कैपिटल एकुमुलेसन और एडजस्टमेंट इन द लेबर मार्केट सो इट इज हिग्स कन्स्टेन्ट सैकेल देन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन एकर्डिंग Hypothesis of Kuznet as economic develop. So inverted U hypothesis. This is called as inverted U hypothesis. So according to inverted U hypothesis of Kuznet, what it indicate? It indicate income inequality. So income inequality first rises and later falls. So in the first stage, income inequality rises, then constant, then income inequality gradually declines. when economy grows income inequality rises then uh, it remain constant then after a point again income inequality uh, on falls so option c is the right option in income inequality first rises and later falls then question number 30 uh, vaccinating people against covid 19 substantially increase net social benefit by improving the health and productivity of the population is an example of uh, 
it is an uh, covid um, covid 19 vaccination it is an example of economies of scale external economies negative externality net present value no it create positive externality so it create external economies so we can say it create external economies or we can say it create benefit to the whole of the society when uh, vaccination uh, program start so it improve our health condition and productivity so it create external economies then question number 31 list 1 list 2 monetary protocol base convention ram ramsar Con convention then kyoto protocol the first one is monetary protocol monetary protocol uh, it it is for ozone layer depletion monetary protocol phasing out ozone depletion depleting substances then basel convention basel convention it is related to its transfer of hazardous waste then ramsar convention it is related with uh, sustainable utilization of wetlands then kyoto protocol kyoto protocol related with co2 emission CO2 emission and greenhouse gases. Monetary protocol phasing out ozone depleting substance. Basel Convention transfer of hazardous waste. Ramsar Convention sustainable utilization of wetlands. Kyoto protocol related with CO2 emission and greenhouse gases. So option A3, B1, C4, D2. Option B is right. Then question number 32. Government of India enacted the Environmental Protection Act of 1986 under the article of death of the Indian constitution. So according to article uh, 253, according to article 253, uh, Environmental Protection Act 1986 enacted. Then question number 33, in estimating the parameters of a linear function, most commonly used method of estimation estimation is least square method maximum likelihood method chi square or method of moments so in estimating the parameters of a linear function most commonly used method of estimation is least square method so a is right so the least square method minimizes the sum of the square difference between the observed and predicted values to estimate the parameters of a linear function so here least square method is the right then question number 34 when a single die is thrown the event of getting odd number or even number are mutually exclusive events not mutually exclusive events independent events or dependent events so when a single die is thrown the events of getting an odd number or even number are uh, we can say it, uh, they are mutually exclusive because when we get a odd number we cannot get an even number at the same time when we get an even number at the same time we cannot get a odd number so these are mutually exclusive events so these uh, events are mutually exclusive because a single die roll cannot result in both odd and even number simultaneously so if one event occurs the other cannot occur so here mutual ex mutually exclusive events are occur at a time then question number 35 geometric mean of last pair and passage indices provide dash index uh, last pair and passage indices of geometric mean so it provide by baule marshall edgeworth calle or fisher so Fisher's right option is Fisher. Fisher method is equal to last pair into passes method geometric mean of the last pair and passing method. Fisher's method. So D is right. Then question number 36. Mean and variance of dash distribution is same. Mean and mean and variation of dash distribution same. Bernoulli, Poison, binomial or normal. So mean and variance of poison distribution are same so option b is right 
देन थार्टी सेवेन लिस्ट वन एंड लिस्ट टू लिनियर फंक्शन क्वाड्रेटिक एक्सपोनेंशियल पावर फंक्शन दिज ऑल आर फ्रॉम द सेट थ्योरी डेरिवेटिव पार्ट सिंपल डेरिवेटिव पार्ट फर्स्ट वन इज लिनियर फंक्शन लिनियर वी कैन से द पावर इज ओनली वन पावर इज वन लिनियर फंक्शन यस वाई इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स प्लस थ्री लिनियर फंक्शन वाई इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स प्लस थ्री बिकज इट्स पावर इज एक्स पावर इज वन इट इज कॉल्ड एज लिनियर फंक्शन एंड सेकेंड वन इज क्वाड्रेटिक क्वाड्रेटिक मीन्स पावर इज टू वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर इयर इट्स पावर इज टू सो क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स प्लस नाइन देन एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन इट्स हियर वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री ई टू दि बार टू एक्स एनी कन्स्टेंट मल्टीप्लाइड उथ ई टू दि बार टू एक्स इ टू दि बार एक्स फर्म इज कल्ड एज एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन देन पावर फंक्शन वाई इज इक्वल टू सिंपल फाइव एक्स क्यू इट इज कल्ड एज पावर फंक्शन वाई इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स क्यू सो इन एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन इ टू दि बार एक्स फर्म वी कल्ड इज एट एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन लिनियर फंक्शन पावर इज वन क्वाड्रेटिक फंक्शन पावर हाइस्ट पावर इज टू देन एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन व्हेन द इक्वेशन इज इन इ टू दि बार एक्स फर्म देन पावर फंक्शन जस्ट एनी टाइप ऑफ पावर x and its power so y is equal to 5x cube so here a for b1 uh, then uh, c3 and d2 uh, d2 option number 3 c then question number 38 when estimated value is subtracted from actual value the difference is called dash error when estimated value are subtracted from एक्चुअल वैल्यू द डिफरेंस इज एब्सल्यूट एस्टिमेटेड रिलेटिव और परसेंटेज द डिफरेंस इज कॉल्ड एब्सल्यूट एरर हाँ एब्सल्यूट का एरर बिकॉज एब्सल्यूट एरर हाउ इट मेजर्स एब्सल्यूट मेजर इट मेजर्स द मैग्नीच्यूड ऑफ द एरर विदाउट कंसिडरिंग द साइज ऑफ द एक्चुअल वैल्यू सो वेन वी डिडक्ट एक्चुअल वैल्यू इट इज कॉल्ड एज एब्सल्यूट एरर absolute error measures the magnitude of the error without considering the size of the actual value then question number 39 analysis of variance is carried out carried out by using t test z test chi square test or f test analysis of variance analysis of variance are carried out by f test analysis of variance the f test is used in analysis of variance or we can say anova to determine if there are significant difference between the means of the three or more groups so we can find out that significant difference between the three or more group, more groups uh, to determine uh, uh, their significant difference so it comes under f test then today's last question match 1 and match 2 list 1 list 2 uh, delphi method dicky fuller test durbin watson test student t test द फास्ट वन इज डिकी फुलर टेस्ट डिकी फुलर टेस्ट इट इज अंडर द फरकास्टिंग फर फर फरकास्टिंग डिकी फुलर फरकास्टिंग सो ए फर सरी डेल्फी मेथड डेल्फी मेथड फर फरकास्टिंग ए फर देन डिकी फुलर टेस्ट डिकी फुलर सरी Delphi method is for forecasting. Then, Dicky Fuller test for stationarity test. Dicky Fuller stationarity. Then, uh, Durbin Watson. Durbin Watson for test of auto correlation. Durbin Watson test for test of auto correlation. Then, student t test testing of significant of a regression coefficient. So, student t test testing significant of a regression coefficient. First one is Delphi method. Used for forecasting, Dicky Fuller test used for uh, check stationarity, then Durbin Watson test used for auto correlation, and student t test used for testing significance of regression coefficient. A for B one, then C two, then D three. Uh, option B, option B is the right option here. So this is all about uh, for the today's session. I hope. you enjoy uh, the video
so if you have any doubt please comment in the comment section if you like the video please like and share with your friends uh, so that all are benefited from this video so in the next part we are going to discuss from question number 41 to uh, 80 question so those who come for the first time please subscribe to this channel uh, to uh, stay update and uh, we will continue the previous year set question of all states uh, in the upcoming video so uh, let's uh, stay connected with this channel so thank you so much jai jagannath